What's going on, people? It's your boy Animal B coming to you with the leg day. Big Lou and I. So, we started off with leg press. This is the first thing we did. Did a little bit of stretching, but this is the first exercise as we warmed up. We started with three plates and worked our way up. But Big Lou has seven plates on right now. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but he actually uh, tore his ACL and PCL a few months back. So, when it comes to legs, um, he's just unable to go as heavy because he's still trying to rehab. Uh, rehabilitate his legs so you know he does what he can do me myself nothing wrong with me except for the fact that I'm fat as hell now I'm starting to notice that since I, I got my weight up to 241 that simple things like tying my shoe hard for me to breathe this leg press hard for me to breathe every time I came down um, for the press it was I was having you know trouble catching my breath but hey it's it's okay because I've worked very hard to get to the weight that I'm at right now and I'm definitely not going to just put it to the side and lose it just over this little, you know, little nonsense. It comes with the territory. But I'll uh, start off <clears throat> with leg press, seven plates. Right here we have uh, ten plates on on a leg press uh, for this is Lou's last set. And then I went ahead and I bumped it up to 11 plates. Now I actually tried to lower the incline of the actual leg press a little bit to see if that was to help. Um, you know, with the whole me not being able to breathe or my diaphragm contracting so much when I went uh, came down, but it it did. It was just awkward and I didn't really like it, but I wasn't going to just stop and readjust. So I worked through it and I did my set. As far as reps go, they were uh, 20, 20, 20, and I believe the rest were 15. And this was uh, I'm not really sure how much this was, how many reps I did. If I didn't do 10, I may, might have done 12, but or even 15. But uh, for those who have back problems, you know this is this is your thing right here. If you can't squat, leg press. That's your next best option. Next, we moved on to squat. We only did three exercises. We only had an hour today, so we start off with leg leg press. Then we moved on to squats, followed by leg extension. I didn't even put the leg extension up because we all know I do leg extensions. But I will make a video showing the different variations. I have about six or seven different variations to simple leg extensions uh, that can help you to get you you know to your goal, get separation and things like that. So we worked uh, started with 185 and then worked our way up. High reps. Um, it was all reps of uh, 10, 12 maybe. All reps of 12. Um, before we, we had a uh, did exercise it was 15 15 and then the rest were were 12 but today was a full set of 12 for every single lift and uh right now we're working with 225 <clears throat> and at this point in time i'm still working with the the bodybuilding style squat so what i mean by that is i have the bar high on my traps and not low like i normally do while when i'm competing and even i transition into a powerlifting squat and you'll see my form and my technique actually change so right now I'm trying to get into the bucket. Right now I'm basically hitting parallel with 225. Feels okay <clears throat> because of the reps that we're doing. My lower back is really tightening up. So uh, after 225, I go ahead and I switch to uh, from a powerlifting, from a <clears throat> excuse me, from a bodybuilding style into a powerlifting style. So right here, Big Lou has 255 on the bar for 12 reps. And once again, he did have a ACL and PCL injury. So he's not able to go as heavy as he normally would before. You know we were up in the 500s uh, with our squats <clears throat> for you know for a few reps. So now because of the injury, you know he had to back it off until his uh, his knee gets a little bit stronger. But he still has good form here. <clears throat> we're going raw dog, no belt. <clears throat> he's uh just about hitting parallel, which you know is fine. You don't always have to hit parallel. You don't always have to get you know so so deep in the bucket me that's just a standard that I go by and if I'm not hitting that that parallel um, stance then you know to me it's just not a successful lift a successful attempt but like I said that's just my standard everyone has different standards but what you will not see me doing is you will not see me doing quarter squats and acting like I'm you know big dog and lifting some heavy weight when I'm just going quarter way down so really play with your form technique you want to at least try to get parallel the lower you go, the more muscle groups you incorporate, so it's better off. So don't listen to the people who say you know, you can't squat so low; it's bad for your knees. That's not bad for your knees. That's how us as humans, you know, we developed. 
you squat real low our body's made for it so right here I have 275 on the bar at this point in time my form has changed I went from a, a bodybuilding style squat into a, a somewhat powerlifting squat and what I mean by somewhat is the bar is not in my competition position so for <clears throat> for bodybuilding the bar is normally going to be high in your traps the position I have right here I have it somewhat low on my trap trap when I compete I have it across my scapula so if anyone wants to ever you know play around with the differences and try them if you do try uh, powerlifting style it is a lot of pressure uh, a lot of the torque on your wrist so be mindful of that and don't think that you're doing something wrong it's just something that you know takes a little getting used to we have right here is 315 uh, on the bar three wheels and uh, felt pretty good it probably was the best best lift of all the ones I did earlier I'm a little funny seems like the heavier I go the better my form gets but if you look at my head as I squat I'm looking somewhat down as I'm ready to come up I pop my head up real quick so that's a quick tip for those who are having trouble you know getting low if you focus on something in front of you it doesn't have to, have to be a mirror but focus on something in front of you and when you feel you hit your uh, parallel or you get deep in the bucket pop your head up and your body should follow right along with it this is your boy Animal B signing out